Improved water supply and sanitation services are frequently introduced into very challenging environments where one or more blockages may stand in the way of them being sustainable or taken to scale. Some critical things must be in place to ensure they keep working. There must be a real demand for services from users. The running costs should be affordable to users and they must be willing to pay for services now and in the future. If subsidies are required to keep services running, it should be clear where they are going to come from. Where services are dependent on external factors, such as the availability of water or sunlight, they must be designed to accommodate changes in these. Technologies used should be compliant with national standards. It should be clear who is responsible for supporting communities with management, financing and technical aspects of keeping services running. Service users, local governments and utilities must have sufficient skills to maintain services and keep them running. Spare parts need to be available in the event of major breakdowns and the technologies chosen to deliver services must be fit for purpose and implemented to the highest standards. If any of these things are missing or inhibited by barriers, water supply and sanitation services will not deliver long-term benefits and may fail altogether. With so many water supply and sanitation technologies available, it can be difficult to identify blockages to sustainability and scalability. We realize that a lot of these technologies at times they will break down because the context within which they were manufactured or framed up does not suit the actual prevailing maybe conditions or context. Many technologies have gone to scale and are widely used, but many languish in the pilot phase for years with little learning from pilot to pilot and huge amounts of money wasted. Many countries lack formal processes for introduction, evaluation, approval and standardization of WASH technologies. This means technologies are sometimes rapidly taken up only to fail soon after introduction. There is no feedback loop between those who produce and introduce technologies and those who use them, meaning blockages to sustainability and scalability persist. All technologies do not work everywhere. It has to, you have to study the context under which you want to introduce it and make sure that the conditions on the ground are right to make the technology work optimally. How can blockages to sustainability and scalability be identified and addressed? And how can we bring together those responsible for services, from providers and users, through to manufacturers, retailers, and regulators? The WASHTEC Technology Applicability Framework, or TAF, provides a way to collectively identify blockages. It focuses on all aspects of a service, using the technology as the entry point for discussion. The Technology Applicability Framework, the TAF, is a framework that's supposed to help everyone who is involved in the provision of WASH services to assess how applicable that technology being introduced is to the context in which it's being introduced. TAF is a tool that helps the sector to take decisions on which technologies they have to implement where. The process allows the producer, the user, and then the government to come together within, in a platform to discuss the issues. And then the three parties will discuss and take decisions to improve on the services that we need to get from the technology. For the scoring session, you are going to take the answers that you've had for all the 18 indicators and then give a mark for the final question, which we term the scoring question. If the answer turns out to be positive, then you give it a green mark that that indicator had passed. If it's somewhere between a negative or positive, that is where you give it an amber color, and if it is negative, you give it red. But this is done in a participatory manner, and we assign comment, reasons why you have given each an indicator a particular color. WASHTEC has also produced guidelines for technology introduction. The aim is to establish a clear technology introduction process, known as the TIP. Setting out who needs to take what action 
to ensure technology is taken beyond the pilot phase into widespread use with sustainable results. One of our key objectives is sustainability of the facilities. And these communities are supposed to lead the process. And TAF involves the community. It involves the community, it involves the facilitators, it involves the producers. And that's the good thing that I see about TAF. I'm very confident we've got it right because I would say it wasn't even tested in just one country, not in just one location in one country, but in different locations in different countries, tested on water technologies, tested on sanitation technologies. I'm confident that the TAF is a strong enough document. Both the TAF and the TIP are available for download from washtechnologies.net.